Through her lessons with Hungarian painter Bella Patho, Duluth-based artist Arna Renin has created a style all her own. Break it up a bit. She's passing along her technique of starting with a bold, exaggerated underpainting, jokingly referred to as the Velvet Elvis effect. So you've got something dark and dramatic to work with, and then you modify and nuance it with oil. Jane Freeman wasn't so sure how it was going to turn out. This is not in my wheelhouse at all. As a watercolor artist, she's conditioned to do the exact opposite. I get really nervous if I go this dark. It's like, what am I going to do with that? Because I can't correct, but here I can. But Renan wants the women to fight the urge to overcorrect. Instead, she wants them to finish the Impressionism landscapes within a two-hour time span. I really have difficulty persevering beyond three hours because it is an intense uh, interaction. One of the class participants says she's typically a very slow, meticulous painter and enjoys working under very controlled circumstances. So Planair was kind of throwing her off. You can't control the weather, you can't control the wind, you can't control the bugs. As a middle and high school art teacher, Deb Carlson is taking it all in and enjoying being a student again. If a teacher says try something, and I'm taking class. I'm going to try it. By expanding their horizons, Renan has given each of them a new perspective on the world around us. I'm hearing all of these artists point out all these wonderful compositions, and I never saw any of it, and I live right here. It's what makes a class like this invaluable. Even those just starting out can contribute to the experience. A lot of times, someone who's never done something will notice something or bring something up that a professional has never even thought of. With this week's In Focus in Bagley, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. A wonderful year of reporting for Lakeland. This will be Mal's final report for us. Mal has covered crime, the environment, education, and of course our In Focus segment. We would like to wish him all the best as he moves on and continues his pursuit in journalism. And of course, I know he's good friends with a lot of my friends. We're gonna miss him greatly, so. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.